I know I'm in between you and your lunch, so I don't think uh, they'll like the long speech. As it is, you know, they've come with great difficulty to work. Chala kashtapadu chari gada nakki? Natchiket, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Manoj, um, Sumit, BSS, of course, my uh, colleague Amar, Jeet, uh, Krishna, to the entire uh, family of LTMI. Firstly, I, I needed uh, some clarification. Is this an arranged marriage or love marriage? <laughs> it's, an marriage. <laughs> it's an arranged love marriage is how <laughs> Natchiket puts it. So, thoda dikkat hoga initially. So, I think um, for this to take shape and, you know, for things to start rolling like, uh, you know, good old days, I think it'll be a, it'll be a bit uh, in terms of time, but I, but I truly, truly admire the fact that you're 16,000. I think that deserves a big, big round of applause. 16,000 in Hyderabad alone. Is that right? In Hyderabad alone, right? In Hyderabad, you're 16,000, which is a large number. But, um, you know, before I could actually complain, thank you, Krishna, for uh, ensuring that, uh, you know, my complaint was because as soon as I walked in, because I remember my last meeting with uh, Debashi's strategy, your uh, Mind Tree CEO, and I had requested him, and also SNS, of course. Uh, you know that we need to start taking IT to tier two towns because it's while while the tier one metros are important like Hyderabad, Bangalore, Bombay, and others. I only added Bombay because you are here. <laughs> I actually don't care much for Bombay. <laughs> Bombay is the birthplace of IT. Kaun si dunia mein dost? So uh, while metros are important, while big cities are important, I think what's more important is the smaller towns because as operations expand as entities grow the one thing we keep witnessing if you look all around your building here is infrastructure and how governments really have to strive to ensure that all of you reach office on time go home on time go home safely most importantly so what happens is that puts a tremendous burden on urban infrastructure as a result today uh, if you look around in the country there is not a single metro which can claim that you know they have basically done more than what is needed. Even Hyderabad, while we have a lot of flyovers, underpasses, a beautiful, uh, you know, metro, in spite of all this, it's a challenge to take, to make people, uh, people move away from cars and private vehicles to, you know, start using public transport, etc. So, what I've been pitching over the last seven, eight years is, we need to start looking at tier two towns like Warangal, Karimnagar, Nizamabad, Khamam, Mahbubnagar, Nalgonda, Adilabad, the reason why I say this is because uh, Nachiket and uh, Manoj, more importantly, because HR needs to sign off on this. What, what will happen and what should happen going down, you know, going forward is, from a state perspective, we are investing heavy money into building uh, plug and play infrastructure in tier two towns. In fact, all the cities that I just, all the towns that I just mentioned, we have built plug and play infrastructure so that some functions, you know, not all need to be done in Hyderabad, the high end of the spectrum should be done here. The higher value work can be done here. But there's plenty of work that can be pushed to tier two towns. Because if you look at the trends in the industry, if you look at the trends everywhere in the world, not just in India, you'll realize that uh, attrition is growing in uh, the, the larger metros. So if you want to stay alive, if you want to stay competitive, I think the smaller town boys and girls, they have more fire in their belly. They don't want to move to Bangalore and Hyderabad and you know all the big metros unless unless there is a compulsive need so given an opportunity each of these towns has multiple engineering colleges multiple very very professional uh, degree colleges and like I said most importantly the tier 2 tier 3 town boys actually boys and girls have more fire in their belly they have a point to prove not just to themselves but to the rest of the world as well they want to compete on an even keel with the rest of uh, metros so my humble request while I'm thankful for Warangal, we need to start looking further. We need to start uh, uh, looking down the road as well. The reason why I say this again is, pandemic has shown us very clearly, it doesn't matter where you work from. Not a single day down in terms of service levels, in terms of goals to be met, in terms of metrics to be achieved, no matter where we were working from, I think we all contributed immensely. Governments also worked from home, governments also have dealt with citizens in a virtual world, and so have employees, I think all of you who are working from home, juggling multiple responsibilities, especially the girls, I think, uh, who are married. You must have juggled many, many responsibilities at home, taking care of the children, the home, and also working. So 
what the pandemic has really shown us is a mirror. The fact that things can be done very, very efficiently with the same service levels being met, no matter where you work from. So all the more reason why we need to start looking at smaller towns, why we need to start looking at tier two towns, why you need to start latching onto the opportunity the government is providing. We are incentivizing you to move to tier two towns. I'm not saying all of you. There's plenty of growth opportunity. There's plenty of sectors in which we can do more in the tier two towns. So I humbly request both Nachiket, Manoj, to start looking at tier two towns and start taking this opportunity more seriously. A company like Zoho, for example, has actually taken coding all the way to villages. Some of the programmers, key programmers of Zoho actually work from villages, not even from small towns. So that goes to show you that there are enough talented people out there who can actually contribute to your growth story. Now, LNT Metro, I think you also should make one more thing which is mandatory. You should ask all your employees to definitely take uh, Metro. I think that will help the city as well. But most importantly, you should make it free for them. <laughs> right? See, the applause tells you. You should talk to SNS. You first, should talk. First one will be easy to implement. I know, I know. First one, it's not easy. If you move it, you will go. The thing is, the metro station is not too far from where we are. It's the, the Rai Durgam Mind Space Junction is not far from here. Amar was just telling me that, you know, the last mile is the challenge. Once you get down from metro, to make it to your workplace without any hassle, you know, without being worried about, because most of us are on the phone anyway, uh, even while walking, we are on the phone, even while showering, some, some people are on the phone. It's strange, but yes. As the point is, we need to also be conscious of the, you know, figurative, not figuratively, but literally speaking, the pitfalls. So on the footpath, the footpaths need to be saved, the roads need to be saved, there need to be uh, foot over bridges or possibly a beautiful skywalk like what Raheja has done in their, uh, in their vicinity. So if you guys come forward, if you guys come forward, if the rest of the tenants in this building also come forward, I'm happy to create a nice skywalk right from your metro station into the building. That should help you. Because, because I'm sure most of you are counting your steps every day. That will also help the steps, let me tell you. So instead of taking your cars, instead of like driving all the way from different parts of the town, I think it's best you latch onto metro, get in, get out, and you know, uh, fly back home in a time-bound manner. That will also help me as urban development minister. While we are adding number of flyovers all around you, if you look around the building's uh, uh, you know, glass facade here, you will see that uh, two more flyovers are ready. In fact, one will be inaugurated in the next 10, 15 days. It will take you straight to the expressway. So for uh, Juluri, where is he? Uh, it will be Amar, uh, for, it, uh, for him it will be very, very easy. He has to go to Mokila, so he, he just has to get onto the expressway and drive all the way to Mokila. Likewise, we are also adding a couple more. Uh, in Kondapur, there is another. Along with that, we are also planning uh, a very interesting project, the elevated bus rapid transport system. Uh, all the way from Nizam Pet to the financial district and Koka Pet as well. So that might take a couple of years. But the fact is, this is a government, unlike other cities, other towns, which has been progressive, which has been forward thinking in terms of the infrastructure needs, keeping in pace with the city's growing stature. So therefore, uh, I thank uh, the management team of uh, LTMI for uh, doing the launch here and uh, choosing this place. Most importantly, I do hope that you continue to grow because if Hyderabad se agar pair ho gaya na, to you will not fall out of it. That, that, that much I can tell you. you know, because I've seen it enough. A lot of times I see people from Delhi, Kolkata and other places, Bombay, who come here. Once you experience Hyderabad, and even Bangalore for that matter, once you experience Hyderabad, there's no going back. So therefore, my humble request to you, Keep up the pace of the growth. This is a very forward-thinking, forward-looking, very progressive government. We'll give you all support. Amar is your single point of contact. My principal secretary, who's, I'm sure, somewhere promoting the state and getting more business. He's also a very, very progressive man. So my humble request, keep adding more. Uh, we'll keep adding more infrastructure. You keep adding more people. And uh, we look forward to your uh, continued growth. Wish uh, the entire family of LTMI a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, you know, uh, next few years ahead because this is a newly uh, new marriage, new merger. So I'm sure there's going to be some cultural, uh, uh, you know, uh, integration that needs to happen. So I wish you all the very best. 